Hello and welcome to the Builder's Bench, where we break down common issues with today's automatic transmissions. I'm Alex Chrissy, editor of Transmission Digest, and with me here is Reno Partipillo from ATSG, who's our technical expert for this series. Alex, I want to thank you for having me out here today. Yeah, of course. So this video is going to focus on the GM 8L90 transmission, and that's an eight-speed unit that GM has been using since 2014 in its Chevys, GMCs, and Cadillacs. We're going to talk about one specific issue with the 8L90, which has to do with the pump stator. Take it away, Rena. All right, thanks again. Now we're going to talk about this problem with this transmission, but we're actually going to go over two things that happen with this pump stator on these things. First of all, we want to talk about the pump stator and what is happening is we're getting these transmissions that will come in with an overheating issue, okay? Now, we'll get a transmission in, they'll take it apart or they'll look at it and see that the oil is completely burnt up on this thing, okay? And what happens is, is they'll go to check the cooler flow on, this, on the vehicle. And when they go to check the cooler flow on there, the cooler flow seems to be fine with no restrictions inside there. So we have to think that there's probably something going on inside the transmission. Well, when we take the transmission apart, good idea is we need to take very good close at the pump stator. So for the overheating on this thing, what we want to do is take a look at that pump stator. Now the pump stator is consisted of an aluminum body and a steel stator, which is pressed into the aluminum body. What happens is, is if you take a look at it, you can see that the steel part of the pump stator is about 40 thousandths taller than the aluminum part of the stator, when it's actually supposed to be flush with each other, as you can see right over here. What is happening is, is that steel part of the stator is actually shifting on there. And when it shifts, it actually blocks off return oil coming from the cooler so when it's kind of trying to come in back into the transmission, it has no place to go because the return line is clogged up on there. So that was what's creating the overheating issue. Okay, yeah, interesting. So what about the other pump stator issue you mentioned? The other issue that we're having with this transmission is you'll get one in that does not move, okay? And it's going back to the pump stator on this thing. Again, an aluminum body stator to the steel stator. And what happens on this, instead of moving up out of position, like we were talking about the coolant system with that, what actually happens is the stator actually turns, as you can actually see in this slide over here, that is actually off center. And what happens with that, it actually blocks off the feed holes. When it blocks off the feed holes because of its spinning, it will not be able to apply the clutches. So even if you were able to put the drum on top of the pump stator and blow air into it, that clutch pack will not apply. All right, well, thank you so much for that. That's going to do it for this episode of The Builder's Bench, but be sure to tune in next time for more transmission technical tips. Thanks for watching.